Spinal anesthesia is a very common neuroaxial anesthetic that we can provide for something like a primary C-section or somebody who's getting a hip replacement or a knee replacement. Whenever you open up the spinal kit, there's going to be two local anesthetic vials that are in there. One's going to be lidocaine and the other one is going to be bupivacaine. Typically, these spinal kits will have what we call heavy bupivacaine and that's basically when the bupivacaine has dextrose added to it. The concept of adding dextrose to it is you create a hyperbaric solution. The size of the glucose molecules actually increases the density of the solution so when it's injected into the CSF fluid it's going to sink with gravity. We basically have the patient lie down as quickly as possible that's because we don't want the spinal medicine sinking down into the bottom of their spinal cord. As nerve roots leave your spinal cord they also give off sensory innervation to your skin. We quantify that as different dermatome levels. The dermatome levels basically create these parallel lines from head to toe. What we do after we do our spinal injection is basically see how high our block went. What I'll do is break a popsicle stick and basically scratch their arm and make sure that that feels normal to them and then scratch the sides of their body to see how high up I can go to when it starts to feel normal again. Depending on whatever surgery the patient's getting, that's going to determine the height of your block that you want. And because we're using this heavy bupy or hyperbaric bupivacaine, we can actually play around with that block height by changing the level of the bed. So if the this is the patient's head, you can basically drop their head and put their legs up in the air so that that spinal medicine is now coming up higher in their spinal cord, allowing more of a sensory blockade higher up in the spine.